Hello Libra, I am your host, Lord Scorpio. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, I have pre-shuffled the deck and we're going to do the love, career, and oracle reading. So let's begin. Okay, what does Libra have in store for their love life? All Libras. Okay. So it says playfulness. Okay. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Okay. Have a little fun. Okay, Libra. And then it says retreat. Okay. It says, it's time to disconnect from the world. Maybe some Libras don't want to play, okay? Maybe they're, you know, tired of playing. and um, Or maybe they don't want to play by other people's games. Maybe they don't like the way other people flirt, okay? Maybe their idea of flirting you know, maybe it feels unfamiliar, okay? It says, extend your lighthearted energy to others. So I believe that Libras have retreated into some type of quiet time to themselves. And maybe people are flirting with Libra, but Libra's not flirting back. They don't have any type of spunk of fun or energy for the shenanigans. And maybe Libras don't want to flirt until they feel like this is a keeper or she's a keeper or he's a keeper. You know, they want to play for keeps perhaps. And, you know, realizing that this playfulness and flirtatious stuff kind of goes nowhere unless, you know, people are committing to one another. So I think uh, Libra has probably played and flirted long enough and they just want out of the you know, the rat wet race of trying to meet someone. Let's see. Why does Libra retreat in love? Okay, so Libra has basically watched and waited. And he feels like, or she feels like, there's not much balance in the world they probably feel a little disconnected like this is for this this dating shit is for the birds you know maybe libras just feel like it's ugh, it's you know you know they'd rather be alone than having to deal with people that are a headache okay and they're just draining libra's energy okay or maybe libra's depressed about something right now and libra does not want to face the world that's why you know they're missing their their flirtatious um you know pick up lines that other people are giving them or you know the playful hints that people try to send libra might be missing all of the fun because you know, they, they're disconnected. They feel that, you know, you know, they feel that th these things are empty if there's no relationship or love behind it. And I don't blame them. Um, is there anyone in particular that is flirting with Libra and Libra doesn't know it? Okay. Um, I believe it's it's demonstrating that you are being the fool in the love department. There is someone that is sending you playful, loving, flirtatious hints, and you're ignoring it, okay? And um, it looks like you're in suspense, like you're teetering between two worlds, okay? Uh, let's see if you're thinking about someone else and you're missing the hints. So it shows entrapment and judgment okay so you want someone else to offer you something offer you a relationship or something like that or you maybe you want to offer someone a relationship 
and the, you're missing the flirt the flirtatious hints that other people are sending you because you're thinking about someone else okay you're, you're blindfolded okay you're you want to miss all of these flirtatious hints because you want to be flirted with by someone else and it's not the ones that are giving it to you okay and this is the judgment you say i don't give a damn about what you do i'm thinking and dreaming of somebody else I, I love being lonely, love being alone, dreaming about this person, okay? So Libras are um, in their head right now, and they're not, they're, they're missing, you know, the signs. Are Libras too serious? Because the playfulness is, is suggesting you to be playful, okay? Should they be playful or should they avoid the playfulness? Okay, so you're definitely avoiding, Libra. You're pretty serious right now. I wonder why. And then you have the death card. You know, like, game over. You are not playing around right now, Libra. You know, you're very serious. And actually all about work, okay? So if people are flirting with you at work, um, you may you might have your, your, you know, your face down, head to the grind. And I don't blame you because, you know, there's a new cycle you're trying to maintain and get out of. You're trying to leave the past behind. And you want to be able to take a hold of your new future with both hands. So you're not playing around. You're not going to waste any time. You're going to get the job done, okay? So, um, yeah, in the department of love, you are not, you know, you don't even give a damn, okay? So let's go ahead and put this car these cards up. <laughs> You have already demonstrated that your mind is on your money and money is on your mind, okay? So you won't be getting any flirtatious, uh, um, I mean, you just, you'll just you just be avoiding all of the pickup lines and the, the can you call me, you'll miss all the winks and the, you know, you're just gonna, you're not gonna be playful because, um, I don't know. It seems like uh, other than money, I, I don't know what, what would drive you to be so, you know, almost cutthroat. That's what I want to say. Even cutthroat. You know, what's making you feel cutthroat? Make sure you maintain some balance, you know, um, you know, because your personality could be a little impractical, but... Uh, nevertheless, you will be getting some uh, some work done. So um, that's good. Okay. So let's take a look at your career since your love life focused on your career before we could even begin. Okay. I wonder why. Okay. Interesting. Why? Okay, Libra. Very interesting. Um, and what I'm saying is interesting is because this is at the top of your rating for your career. So you're feeling um, a little strung up on a broken heart with your work environment or your career. And I feel like this is in your, in your head again. I think this is some anxiety and some depression. Lots of feelings from the heart that could be premature, you know, not really realistic, but just thinking them out. Be careful of your thoughts that you don't manifest these things into reality, okay? And um, I feel that, you know, you're very, very committed and in love with your job, okay? It's there. You, you, you know, you think very highly of your job. But see, God will intervene with that type of, um, you know, if you love your job more than people, you know, God can take your job away because you're not supposed to idolize money or 
you know, material thing. So if you're paying attention to the wrong things and giving, you know, your all of your power to work or money, you know, God could correct that. So be careful that he does not take the initiative to do what he wants to do because there's a lesson that has to be learned and sometimes it comes at a greater price, okay? And I think that some of you, you know, you're afraid that you won't get the promotion, okay? Um, that you'll be overlooked for some type of entitlement. A lot of you think you'll be out in the cold about the dedication you've given to, to work in this creative project. You're so committed. You're so in love with your job. Okay, that you just couldn't imagine anybody else stealing this promotion. But it's things like that. If this is keeping you up at night, if this is all you think about, it's taking the attention away from God. Okay, you have to open your heart and allow God to manifest these things naturally. Okay, I feel like you're almost forcing the situation to happen by working, you know working, you know, overworking yourself, you know, trying too hard could even make people jealous, you know, you might need to calm down and take a breather. Yeah, see, here's the devil. It's almost like it's, it's taking a life of its own. Okay, so be careful of the energies that you're not slaving for something that is just monetary. I mean, you know, almost like get a grip of yourself, uh, Libra, that you're not turning a blessing into a curse because again god wants the attention on him god wants the glory okay um it could be once you get this job that you know you, it could turn you into a monster uh, you know so just be careful of these manifestations you know it could it turn you into a person that's way too bossy way too demanding you know I don't know. I think there might be some problems with your boss as well. So, um, yeah, and then there's some energy that's, that's stating some someone is naive. So maybe you said something to your boss that was a little naive, and it puts you back into the doghouse where you did not want to be. Let's find out. Why is the devil card coming up in Libra's reading? Yeah, you're giving way too much power to this job. You're, it's, it's causing you to lose sleep. Um, you're barely getting sleep. If you do, you're scared you're going to oversleep. I mean, you lay down, you think about it when you wake up. It's like it's taking a life form of its own. And God, it does not like that. He really doesn't. He wants us to be... Uh, very spiritual and not materialistically driven, okay? And um, some of you could be afraid that you won't be able to get out of that vicious cycle of having to rely on other people. You guys are very eager to get to the next level so you don't have to rely on the people around you, okay? And I don't think you have to rely on them now. I really think that's a choice, okay? And um, with this, um, the moon's coming up as if you know you know you deserve this promotion. You know um, you have some sense of entitlement coming your way, but you know, you know, praying and just believing and know and move on is enough. But if you're giving all your energy and your power to, you know, this this idea of becoming someone, you know, special or recognized, you know, it, it's, I feel like it's really taking on a, you know, a spirit of its own. Okay. So it's reminding you that if you know something is entitled to you and belongs to you, is to ask for it and let it go, okay? And if it comes back to you, then you'll know that whatever this opportunity is that you're involved in, it will come back for you and be given to you. A lot of people, a lot of Libras are trying to, uh, you know, create a career so that they can add, add a new addition, a new baby to, you know, 
the equation. And if this doesn't work, a lot of Libras feel like they won't be able to add this new addition because they want to be financially sound. And, um, you know, I feel that, uh, okay, suggesting that Libras are moving to higher ground. Is that the promotion? Higher grounds like where? Interesting. Okay, Libra, there's a wise person, okay, an elder that is aware of something going on in your career. And it looks like, it looks like there's going to be a holdup with this promotion now. Um, like, you almost had it, but something is slipping away. It could be just your dignity. You know, again, I feel like this is all in your head. And you're moving from one anxiety to the next. And, um, you know, if you give that much energy to a job, you will lose your head. Will Libra get this promotion? Or will they not? Well, hopefully you'll be moving up in a way out of the current position that you're currently working, Libra, to where, you know, you won't have to be doing the same job. You'll be elevating and be the leader, the, the wise person of the pack and be distinguished and lead others um, to their obligated duties. But I feel like you can't see it. Like you don't know if it's coming or not. But you just have to have faith, Libra. Okay? That you will be appreciated. That you will be recognized. Okay? Yeah, something is happening. I feel like there's some type of um, devious act with your promotion i did a reading for you last week you were going to be promoted but this time there's some really negative energy cropping up in the reading i'm not sure why but something has taken a change libra okay as far as your career and uh, there could be some foul play here okay and uh, let's see why libra is feeling shot down because someone else feels special. Now look at this, okay? You're feeling like this, why? And then here's this, okay? So someone else is gonna be taking that special promotion. Let's see if you're gonna be transforming from this card, okay, to this, okay? We're gonna see, we're gonna see, okay? Will Le Le Libra be making the transformation? Wow. Okay. I believe there's some type of secret at work with someone promoting a family member. Okay? And there might be some manipulated powers uh, um, behind the scenes. So this is what I'm going to do. In order to really find out what's going on, I'm going to put all the cards back and um, give it another good shuffle because I really want to give you an answer on that because I remember a scene you all being promoted. And then now there looks like there's some manipulated energies, like there's something new that has happened within the last week, okay? What is going on with this promotion? Who is this family? Okay. 
Libra doesn't know what's going on, but there is an opportunity headed their way. Some type of message also that Libra is going to be out in the cold. So you've, you've had a bad feeling this past week about work, okay, or some type of creative project. And now you're realizing that you've started feeling some type of way that this may not manifest the way you have thought. Even the way I had thought, because I seen it and now the cards are uh, saying something else. So there's been some manipulation since about a week now. I'm sorry to hear this, um, Libra. And it looks like there's a male that has manipulated this energy. So he's caused conflict. Maybe, um, yeah, and it's happened fast. So this is what's keeping you up at night. This enemy, he's an enemy right here. And he may very well be a boss. Sometimes some companies have quite a few bosses. They may have two or three, but they get, they've gotten together. The women have gotten together. The last reading, the women got together and they said, they're going to promote you, a Libra. But this time, um, there's some negative energy with, uh, there's some negative energy with a male figure at the workplace, okay? What's gonna be the ultimate outcome? Oh my God, I'm so sorry, Libra. Okay, so you're gonna be disappointed, disengaged. You probably, you know, you're going to be so mad, you're going to want to quit, but you're not going to quit. But that's how mad you're going to be, Libra. I'm very sorry to hear that. Um, maybe you need to go ahead and report this person to corporate. Or maybe you need to sue. Okay, they keep passing you up on a promotion that you know you're entitled to. Sue their asses. And say they've been negligent. And then that company will have to will have to uh, pay you a lump sum settlement. Okay, then you can go buy you a house or go buy you a career. Go do what do go do whatever the hell you want to do. Okay, so let's see what the angels have to say. Okay, Libra, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Libra. What energies do you want to tell Libra? Angels. Oh, look at the angels. Oh, that's so sweet. Okay, Libra. It says Cupid, okay? It says Cupid. And then it says Innocence. Okay, Innocence. And then it says acceptance, okay? There's some things that you're gonna have to accept right now, okay? I believe what the Lord is saying is that you may not be blessed the way you want in your career. It may not be perfect, but you do have love, okay? So if you don't have one thing and you have another, God is still blessing you. So be grateful for the blessings that you still have, Libra, okay? And it says innocence. You've done your all. You have did your best. Give yourself a pat on the back, okay? Don't run yourself into the ground because you didn't ultimately achieve what it is that you thought you were entitled to, okay? And the acceptance, accepting the past, accepting someone's wrongful doing, okay? And if you feel that you need to justify their actions, go ahead and sue. Go follow up with the chain of commands, okay? If someone's tampering with your promotion, with your job, okay? Standing in your way of, of your blessing. Okay, so if that's keeping you up at night, you need to go ahead and take an initiative to take corrective action. 
okay? You can't rest until you take corrective action. Once you've done all you can, then all you can do is stand, okay? So I believe that, um, you know, even though you may not get what you want, be happy someone loves you, that someone cares for you, because Cupid did not have to shoot this person with an arrow. You do not have to be loved. You can very well be very, very lonely. Even if this is what you want, sometimes be careful of what you wish for, okay? Because if, you're, if you'd rather be lonely, you just might get it. Okay, and if you feel some type of love in your heart, if you feel like, you know, you're disappointed and you want to reach out to someone to feel some type of love or nurturing connection, by all means, go ahead and do that. Okay, um, this might be the time that you do seek love or turn to love because you're hurt right now. You've got some healing you have to do. And, you know, don't fault yourself. You, you, you didn't do anything wrong, okay? You're completely innocent. Give your guilt and anger to God, okay? So that he can bless you with new blessings, okay? You're guiltless in truth, okay? But God does not want anything to replace him. The attention he wants, he is very jealous of that. Do not take that for granted, okay? And it says, see yourself and others through the eyes of the angels with unconditional love and acceptance. So God is asking you to show unconditional love. Do you know what unconditional love is? Loving in the despite of all of the emotions combined that there possibly is and facing love head on and still loving that person despite anger, despite the hurt that they gave you. It's like a mother's love for a child. They love unconditionally, okay? Even when they're upset. That's how you have to love people that may not even know they're hurting you. But they're doing it just to get their family in a job, just to get their family promoted. Some people are out for their own interests. But guess what, Libra? You'll get your turn. You have to wait your turn like a lot of people, okay? But you can't worry about someone else's blessing. Just worry about your own. And I promise everything will work out to its best and full potential. So thank you so much, Libra, for joining me. I hope that uh, you will begin to see the fruits of your labors very soon. And I really do wish you the best. Thank you so much for joining me.